Hey there and welcome to this video series about how we can extend our API with some testing features. We made this API in Node.js and also Express and MongoDB and we have a working API more or less that has product CRUD routes uh, and also uh, authentication based on JSON Web Token. But we don't have any testing, so we just have an API that we've been building and we have been testing this on Swagger and Postman but we don't have any structured test. So we just uh, did some kind of random test and experienced that some of the routes were working and that is fine. But if we are to release this into production, then it, it's important that we do some more structured tests, some automated tests that we can eventually use maybe in a continuous integration and continuous development pipeline. And the way we will do this is that uh, I'm going to use Mocha, that is uh, a JavaScript test framework that is running on Node.js. Then we're going to use a chai, that is an assertion library that will allow us to do extra assertions compared to the standard one in Node.js. Basically check if something is equal to something else and if it fails. A lot of different methods, but we will come back to that. So Mocha and chai are the one we will be using and the REST API is located on this uh, GitHub URL, so you can go find it there. But we can see if we go back here that we have our test command. So I can write npm run start def. And then my API should start up localhost and connect to MongoDB. So we can see connected successfully to MongoDB. And we can create a new tab here, localhost. And then show us Swagger that we can see we can test out the different routes here, we can retrieve a list of products. For instance, so we can see we get some data in the database. All right. But we can also see that we have tests. We don't have any tests specified at the moment. So if we do another command, if we do npm tests, we get this error that we don't have, have any tests specified. So we need to fix that. And there's a lot of different tests that we can use. We can do unit tests, we can also do integration tests, and we can do end-to-end -end tests. And since this is a REST API where we have routes specified that we can access from a client, from a front-end client somewhere, then it would be natural to test these routes to see if they return what we expect them to return. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on, uh, creating the end-to-end -end test. Okay. So stay tuned for the next video where we will start to set up the necessary dependencies and start coding the tests.